Uh, so good to have all of you tonight. Uh, God's got something for you tonight. Amen. 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 Because you made an a extra uh, effort to be in service on a Wednesday night. Amen. 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 And so God is not going to fail you by not ministering Amen. to your to your need and letting you hear tonight what you need to hear. Amen. Praise God. The title of my message is Be, Be Determined. Amen. Amen. And uh, turn in your Bibles with me, if you will, to ch uh, Philippians chapter 1. Yeah. And uh, starting with verse 12. Philippians 1 and verse 12. It says, But I would, I would ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happened unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel, so that my bonds in Christ are manifest in all the palace and in all other places. And many of the brethren in the Lord, waxing confident by the bonds, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. And um, this is Paul talking about when he was uh, put in prison and uh, said that uh, he would have us to understand that these things didn't defeat him, didn't discourage him, didn't take him out, didn't uh, discourage him from living for God, but they really uh, furthered the gospel of God. Amen. And so I want to read to you this passage in the message tonight. The message translation, it says, I want to report to you, friends, that my imprisonment has had the opposite of its intended effect. I like that. Same minute for evil. But it had the opposite effect. Instead of being squelched, the message has actually prospered. Amen. All the soldiers here and everyone else, too, found out that I'm in jail because of this Messiah. That, I don't know what that, how to say it. Peak. Their curiosity. And now they've learned all about him. Not only that, but most of the followers of Jesus here have become far more sure of themselves in the faith than ever. Speaking out fearlessly about God, about the Messiah. So Paul was saying the things that I've gone through has caused me to prosper. It's caused me to, to be more determined than ever to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, it, it's given him even more of a boldness to, to minister the word of God. And uh, it says, you know, that uh, it adv actually advanced the kingdom of God. Because, you know, it brought, brought attention to God, didn't it? Well, the, the enemy is too dumb to figure that out. <laughs> that when he comes against the child of God, you, uh, you're you going to have a testimony. Amen. And so you're going to be able to tell people what God brought you through. Amen. And how God blessed you. That's right. Amen. And, and the miracle that God worked out for you. Yeah. And how God provided for that need that you had. And how God turned things around and made them for good. Amen. Amen. And so we're actually, the uh, the enemy meant it for evil, but God turned it around for good. Amen. Now we all go through adversity. We all go through things. We go through attacks of the enemy. But e and every uh, attack of the enemy against you is designed to try to make you quit. Now, we're not quitters, are we? Amen? Amen. Amen. But we are determined. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. We are more determined. Now, let's just kick the devil in the shins tonight. Amen? Amen. 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 We are more determined. This is Oasis Christian Center. Yes, That's right. Glory to God. This is people on fire for God. This Amen. is people that love God. This is people that know and whom they serve. And so we're more determined that we're going to serve the Lord. More determined that we're going to glorify God. That we're going to let the light of God shine through us. Amen. Amen. Be determined tonight. The things that happened to Job. You know, it wasn't fun for Job to go through 
those things. And the things that uh, come against him were designed to make him quit. That's right. Satan came to God. He said, uh, it, God, if you take everything away from Job, then he'll, he'll curse you right to your face. So, uh, I'll paraphrase what God said to Satan. He said, you don't know Job like I know Job. Right. Amen. Amen. Amen? God said, you don't know Debbie like I know Debbie. That's right. Amen. He's saying you don't know Diane like I know Diane. Right. Glory to God. He's saying you don't know Wayne like I know Wayne. Right. Hallelujah. God is saying this is my child. I know who he is. I know what he's made of. I know that he loves me. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, God said he's a man who fears God. He turns away from evil. He doesn't have anything to do with evil. God said, no, I won't come against Job. I mean, yeah, against Job, but you can. I'll let you do it, but you cannot take his life. Amen. God drew the line yes. in the sand. He said, you cannot kill Job. Cannot take his life. So Satan did everything that he could do to Job. He took everything away from Job, but he could not take his life. Even Job's wife said, just curse God and die. Now don't you need an encourager like that on your side. Amen. Especially to have somebody that you're married to. Just curse him. Just curse him and die. But Job, no, he stood in his suffering and the hard time and the test and the trial and he's like, I know who my God is. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. We can say tonight that we know who our God is. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. We know that he is a mighty God. Yeah. He is the everlasting Father. Yeah. Amen? Amen? He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the almighty God. Yes. Job would not turn his back on God. And because of that, God blessed him double, mightily, greatly, amen, amen. than what he had been before. Amen. And because of that, God became Job's deliverer and his avenger. Yep. Yes. Think about that tonight. God is your deliverer and he is your avenger tonight. Amen. 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 God will deliver you from every test. Yes. He'll deliver you from every trial. And the devil will have to pay for what he has done to you. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. So let's go back to Paul. He said, all this that has happened to me, he's saying, me being thrown in prison, all the adversity that come against me, all this is just cause of furtherance of the kingdom of God. Satan so thought he's going to stop Paul. But the gospel, when he was determined that he was going to preach the gospel stronger than he ever had before. Yeah. The furtherance of the kingdom. Amen? Yeah. He had a greater determination than he did before. Now we've got to think about that. We're, when we are in the middle of a trial, amen, we have to say, whoa, wait a minute. I see what's going on. Yeah. I recognize what the devil's trying to do. Yes. Amen? He messes with your finances. So, whoa, wait just a minute. Yes. This is the enemy trying to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. That's right. But I know that my God, yes. my God is my deliverer. Yes. My God is my avenger. Yes. My God will intervene. That's my right. God will provide. My Amen. God will help. 
Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. He was determined. Now I want to read Philippians 1, 18 through 21 in the message translation. It just says it a little clearer and plainer. So, so how am I to respond? I've decided that I really don't care about their motives, whether mixed, bad, or indifferent. Every time one of them opens his mouth, Christ is proclaimed. Woo! Glory to God. Amen. That is shout grounds right there. Amen. Every time your enemy opens his mouth against you, the gospel of Jesus Christ is proclaimed. Hallelujah. Amen. So just cheer them on. Hallelujah. Paul had a different frame of mind, didn't he? Yes. He had a way of thinking, didn't he? Amen. Amen. He had an attitude that God was going to get glory out of every situation. Correct. Goes on to say, I'm going to keep that celebration going. Are you keeping that celebration going? Yeah. Because I know how it's going to turn out. Hallelujah. Have you read the back of the book? Amen. Amen. Yeah. We know we're just going to keep the celebration going. Yeah. Right. Because we know how it's going to turn out. Yeah. It's going to yeah. turn out for our good. Yeah. Amen. Right. And it's going to give God glory. Yeah. That's right. The enemy is going to be put to shame. Yeah. Hallelujah. Y'all may want to be pretty tired tonight now. Yeah. Yeah. Through your faithful prayers. Now we need each other's prayers, don't we? Yes. Amen. Amen. Each and every one of us, yes. we're all fighting the fight together. Yes. Yes. The good fight of faith. And we need each other's prayers. Amen. 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 Through your faithful prayers and the generous response of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, everything He wants to do in... And through me will be done. I can hardly wait to continue on my course. Amen. I don't expect to be embarrassed in the least. On the contrary, everything happening to me in this jail only serves to make Christ more accurately known. Regardless of whether I live or die, they didn't shut me up. Woo! Glory to God. They didn't shut me up. Amen. They gave me a pulpit. <laughs> Hallelujah. They gave me a pulpit. Hallelujah. I can tell them what God's done for me. I can tell them how God brought me out. I can tell them how He delivered me. How He avenged me of my enemies. Amen. Amen. How he, he made it good for me. In Christ's message, I'm Christ's messenger. Dead, I'm his bounty. Life versus even more life. I can't lose. Amen. Glory to God. Everybody say, I, I can't, can't lose. Can't lose. Hallelujah. Amen. So Paul starts out. Verse 18. He says, So how am I to respond? That is a great question tonight. When the enemy is coming against us with every weapon that he has, how are we going to respond? Now that's important. Because the way that we respond determines the outcome. Amen? Amen. It determines the outcome. So it is a growing process. I haven't arrived. Amen. But I hope I have learned some things. Amen. Amen. And I hope that the next time I'm faced with the same situation, I will have learned how to respond. Come on. When adversity comes, we just keep on serving God. Amen. 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 When adversity comes, we just keep on praising God. When adversity comes, we just keep on walking and keep on talking and keep on singing and keep 
Come on, Shep. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go be our response. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Paul said it. Said it doesn't matter what they do. I'm going to be more on fire for God. That's more or less what he's saying. Doesn't matter what they do. I'm just right. going to keep on preaching the gospel. I'm just going to be more on fire for God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just going to be more determined. Yes. Glory to God. I'm just going to let God keep using me. I'm just going to keep letting God do what he wants to do in my life. That's right. Hallelujah. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let it make me quit. I'm not going to let it keep me discouraged. That's right. I'm going to glorify God more. Glorify God more. See, you don't want to give in to the enemy. You don't want him to get uh, glory for you getting uh, quitting on God. No. No, we want to give God more glory because that shows the enemy who our God is. Amen? Because when we stand and stand therefore, hallelujah, the victory's on the way. The victory's on the way. So we need to respond like Paul. Amen? And when we respond, we respond like Paul, we can't lose. Amen. We can't lose. So how am I going to respond was the first thing he said. The second thing Paul said was, I have decided. Hmm. Have you ever decided something? Well, when you decided something, your mind was made up. Right. This is the way it's going to be. Right. I have decided. Yes. Just like that song, I have decided to follow Jesus. Amen. 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 So when the enemy comes against us, we're not going to change our mind, I undecided. <laughs> I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow him. Yes. Paul decided. Yes. So we're going to respond the way Paul did. Paul responded in the spirit. He didn't respond in the flesh. Well, just look at who, who do they think they are. Look at what they've done to me. So we get our focus off of who God is. And that's what the enemy wants us to do. He wants us to get our focus on the situation, uh, the uh, severity of what's going on, and, and have an offense. But God, God's way is to say, I have decided. I'm following Jesus. No matter what, I'm following Jesus. I'm not going to let this thing uh, push me down. Amen. But I'm going to rise up and I'm going to be stronger. I'm going to respond uh, by giving God praise and glory Amen. and honoring Him with my life. That's right. Amen. Amen. I'm going to allow God to turn this situation around. Yeah. And when we respond that way, when we just keep on keeping on in God, then we can't lose. Amen. Hallelujah. And God will turn your adversity into victory. That's right. Glory to God. Victory. Amen. Victory is yours tonight. Amen. It belongs to each and every one of you. That's right. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. God is good. Yes. All the time. Yes, he is. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I'm just going to end with a couple of scriptures tonight. Isaiah 54 and 17 says, No weapon. Everybody say, No weapon. No weapon. No weapon for 
formed against you will prosper. And every tongue that shall rise up against you in judgment, thou shalt condemn. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Now I want to read it in the, in the message translation. I love this. It says, afflicted city, storm-battered, unpitied, I'm about to rebuild you with stones of turquoise, lay your foundations with sapphires, construct your towers with rubies, yeah. Your gates with jewels and all your walls with precious stones. All your children will have God for their teacher. What a mentor for your children. Yes, yes. You'll be built solid, grounded in righteousness, far from any trouble, nothing to fear, far from terror. It won't even come close. If anyone attacks you, don't for a moment suppose that I sent them. And if any should attack, nothing will come of it. Amen. Glory to God. Nothing Amen. will come of it. I create the blacksmith who fires up his forge and makes a weapon designed to kill. I also create the destroyer, but no weapon that can hurt you has ever been forged. Yeah. There is no weapon formed against you that can hurt you, amen? amen. Nothing formed against you will prosper. Praise the Lord. It says any accuser who takes you to court will be dismissed as a liar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what God's servants can expect. Amen. I'll see to it that everything works out for your best. Amen. God's decree. That's His decree to you tonight. Amen. Amen. You might be going through something tonight, but God said, stand, don't give up, don't be discouraged, don't quit. Amen. Because no weapon formed against you tonight will prosper. Amen. Hallelujah. And every time that rises up against you, they will be shown to be liars. Woo! Come on. Glory to God. That's good news tonight. Yeah. Hallelujah. One more scripture. And yes, I'm going to read it in the message. That's for the same tonight, I guess. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's not it. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Psalms 35, verses 27 and 28. And I'll end with this. And let me remember to push the button for Ashley tonight. It says, But those who want the best for me, let them have the last word, a glad shout, and say over and over and over, God is great. Everything works together for good for his servant. Yes. I'll tell the world how great and how good you are. I, I'll shout hallelujah. All day, every day. Amen. Amen. So let's just shout hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Ashley.
Praise God. Amen.